Hello guys and welcome back to new tutorial. This is Kitul Patel and today we are going to see that what is security attacks and information security and what are the type of security attacks. So let's start the tutorial. So what is security attack? So basically security attack is unauthorized access or modification of data or message is called attack and to provide the security on that attack we implement different different methods. So there are two types of securities uh, to watch on security attack that is one is computer security and another is network security. So basically uh, when you talk about the computer security it comes over protecting system resources and information from unauthorized access and what is network security. So network security is protecting data transmission over a network. So when you are talking about computer security, computer security comes when you are connected to a LAN area network and you want to uh, protect your resources from unauthorized access from any different person on your LAN and saving your information from another ident um, user over a LAN or over a local area director comes under computer security and what is network security like if you are transmitting the data from one place to another place over internet over network is known as network security so there are two type of attacks when you talk about security attacks so first is active attack and another is passive attacks so what are active attacks and what are passive attacks so when you take active attacks active attacks are the attacks which are done by a non-organizational person or you can say a black hat hacker like if you take about any organization or any company and the person who is outside the company or not a part of that organization and attacks and steal the information is known as active attacks. So active attacks are uh, done by a person outside the company or organization and in this active attacks your data or your message are modified and sent to the some of the changes are made and you can detect the active attacks now uh, talking about passive attacks so passive attacks are done by the people within the organization or company like who is the part of organization uh, can do passive attack so uh, in passive attack it is difficult to detect because in passive attacks the attacker do not modify any message it just analyze the message or read the conversation so this is passive attacks now we will see in detail what is active attack and what are the type of active attack so now let us learn about the active attacks Uh, so the first method comes under active attack is masquerade method. So what is masquerade method? In masquerade method, the sender sends the message, sorry, the attacker sends the message on behalf of sender. So let us create a scenario and understand what exactly the masquerade method is. So here we are taking a sender A, a receiver B, and the attacker C. So here what will be done? The C will send the message. C is whatever attacker. So attacker will send the message to the receiver B. And what B will do? B will send the message to A on basis of this attacker message. So A is not sending any message to B. But our attacker is sending the message and uh, the receiver is replying to the message to the sender A. So in this scenario it happens like uh, the original sender is not sending anything but the receiver is getting the text 
from somewhere and b is re uh, replying on the same text to the a so masquerade method is basically sending uh, sending the message on behalf of sender so this was about the masquerade method now let us the second method comes under the active attack is modification of message so let us first create a scenario again this is sender a receiver b and attacker c so here what will be done is uh, this is the communication link which is originally established now a is sending a message hi to b like a is sending hi but here the attacker is capturing the messages the hi will be received first by c and like c will be modifying that message and will be sending to b so this is modification of message the original message is not conveyed to the receiver b but the modified message by attacker is conveyed to b so modification of message is just modifying your original message to somewhat what attackers want to send is transmitted to the receiver b and receiver b will be replying on the basis of this message not this message so this was the method second method which is known as modification of method and now third method is reply later so in this method what happens sender a receiver b and attacker c now a is sending message hi i will come at 6 30 but what happens this message will obviously first transmitted to the attacker and attacker will not send this message to b like let us create a scenario a is sending this message to b at 5:30 now uh this message from a has reached to our attacker c at 5:30 now our attacker c has hold this message till 7 and at 7 our attacker c has sent this message to b so now it is not meaningful like uh, a has sent text that i will be reaching there at 6:30 but our attacker has hold that message till 7 and now our attacker is sending that message at 7 to the b so this was reply later attack so in this attack the attacker will be holding the message for some certain amount of time and will be replying later to the original receiver so this was a scenario where uh, you can see that reply later comes under active attack so now the fourth technique is dos attack it stands for denial of services so what happens in dos attack let's take a scenario that this is user there are n user and they are accessing a website for filling out some forms for a competition this is our server so what users are doing is users are fill, uh, requesting for a form 
from a website over a web server and what the attacker will do now attacker will send multiple request to the server for certain certain amount of time like now uh, c is sending 500 request at a time to the web server and obviously uh, receiving this much amount of request multiple time will do a server down time out or anything so server will be down and no one else can reach to the website for until these packets are multiply sending by a attacker so they cannot fill this form because they are not getting the access to the uh, website as the our web server is down so dos attack says that it sends multiple request at a time to a web server or a server so that it slows down and it do not get it fulfill that 500 request at a time and will not uh, let any other request come under so when users are requesting for the web server their requests are denied and they are completing this 500 uh, request is at a time and obviously the server will get down so this was the dos attack and this was the four type of attack that come under the active attacks now let us know about passive attacks so in passive attacks the first attack comes is release of message content so what is release of message content so in release of message content the attacker do not reply or modify the message and send to the receiver but what he will do he will just observe the communication between uh, the sender and the receiver so he will let us check it by a scenario this is attacker c sender a receiver b now they are communicating within a channel this all messages are transmitted from a to b and b to a and the attacker c will only observe the messages and not modify or not uh, send behalf of original sender but he will just observe the conversation and pick the important thing in if he want anything like if he is observing the message that uh, yeah like a is sending to b that what uh, my password is 1 2 3 and c got that what he want the password so he do not need to modify any message or uh, ask the receiver for the password or ask a for the password but this is how he observe the message and get the important data he wants so this is was release of content now uh, the another method that comes under passive attack is traffic analysis so what is traffic analysis same situation which come under release of message content is observing the communication here the attacker will observe the traffic over the communication link that which type of traffic is generated with, uh, between the uh, servers and receiver a to b and b to a so he will just observe the traffic so this was how the uh, traffic analysis work and he will get some analysis based data on the traffic analysis from a to b and b to a so this was how the passive attacks work and active attack work so this were the type of active attack and type of passive attack and what is security attack so this was about the video if like if you like the video then press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more tutorials and if you want any type of uh, video or content or if you are getting any doubts in any of the content you can surely comment below in and i will get back to you uh, so this was for this video if you like the video like the button subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching